Hi everyone, here's a comparison simulation between the Block 5 Banga Bangdu and Block 4 Bulgaria SAD missions. The payload masses are almost identical, and the final orbits have very similar delta V requirements when the inclination is taken into account. So before we get into the simulation, I just wanted to give a big thanks to John Archer. He helped build out these two different flight profiles and updated Space Sim to include a lot of the changes necessary for Block 5. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. Right away you can see the Block 5 booster has a much higher thrust to weight ratio. The Merlin engines are running at full thrust and the rocket will have slightly less gravity losses. Falcon 9 lift off in a beautifully clear shot there uh, at 4.14 p.m. Eastern. Uh, at T plus 10 seconds, the thrust vector control system Vehicle is super sorry. tilted Falcon to begin a pitch kick maneuver to get it going sideways. You just heard that uh, we're going supersonic and we're about to go through max Q when the rocket's pushing hardest against the atmosphere. Vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. successfully achieved that major milestone of every rocket launch. Uh, we're actually decreasing the thrust in our engines a little bit around the time of max Q to minimize some of those forces. Coming up about uh, 50 seconds from now, uh, back engine chill. Uh, there'll be three events in quick succession. The main engines will cut off, the two stages will separate, and the second stage will start its Merlin vacuum engine, uh, which you heard is just beginning its own chill procedure. Cutoff happening just a few seconds from now. Pico. At stage separation, the Block 4 booster is traveling about 100 meters per second faster and has about 10,000 kilograms less fuel. This means it's going to have a significantly shorter re-entry burn and have to deal with much higher thermal and atmospheric loads. It's also going to travel about 70 kilometers further downrange for its drone ship landing. Now I'm going to speed up time for a little while until we get closer to the re-entry burns. Satellite 1. Uh, right now that Merlin vacuum engine is glowing red hot with those exhaust gases as it propels Bangabandhu Satellite 1 into its final geostationary transfer orbit. Our Falcon 9 first stage today is going to perform two burn maneuvers in order to get back down towards the drone ship. Uh, the first burn is going to be an entry burn coming up in about 30 seconds. You'll be able to see that entry burn start on the left-hand side of your screen. As a reminder, those uh, bursts of uh, clouds coming out of the Falcon 9 first stage on the left are those cold gas thrusters that, in addition to the titanium grid fins, allow it to provide or to control itself as it comes back down through the atmosphere. There's the startup of the entry burn. Yeah. 
At this point, the Falcon 9 first stage is actually only about 10% of the mass that it was on the pad. So it's actually pretty empty of fuel and liquid oxygen right now. So this entry burn is only going to last a few more seconds before cutting off. And there it is. So right after their entry burn shut down, the Block 4 booster is traveling a staggering 500 meters per second faster. You can see the grid fins are literally melting as the booster encounters a peak heating rate of about 130 kilowatts per meter squared, with drag forces maxing around 5 Gs. SpaceX has claimed this is one of the most challenging landings, and this is definitely a contributing factor. The Block 5 booster only sees about half the peak heating rate with only 3 Gs of drag. Condensation forming on the inside of the camera, but uh, we should get some good, uh, good video. Um, on the right-hand side of your screen, again, that second stage is still continuously uh, propelling Bangamandu Satellite 1 into orbit. It uh, looks like we may have lost video from the cameras on that first stage momentarily. Uh, we'll see if we can get them back. Uh, it, one thing that is unique about this mission uh, is that the second stage engine cutoff is going to happen just before the landing, coming up in about 20 seconds or so. You can see in your mission status bar at the very bottom, the second stage engine cutoff and landing are right on top of each other, so uh, be prepared for those two events to happen in quick succession. So his landing leg should be deploying very soon. There it is. <laughs> and Coming in too, Is something like that can cause some issues. And it looks like we did have a good recovery of the first stage. Um, video feed did come back. That is touchdown for first stage on the drone ship. This was a three engine landing burn. Most challenging landing to date. Successfully touched back down on, of course, I still love you. So here are the final burns by the second stages that put the payloads into their geostationary transfer orbits. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments below. SpaceSim is an open source project that I've been working on in collaboration with John for about two years now. If you want to check out the project or run the simulation yourself, links are available in the description below. Thanks for watching.